हेलो क्लास नाइन्थ दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर एट अ हाउस इज नॉट ए होम एंड दिस इज नाइन्थ वीडियो एंड इन द प्रीवियस एट वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल पेज नंबर फिफ्टी एट एंड वी आर एट द लास्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ पेज नंबर फिफ्टी वन सॉरी फिफ्टी वन सो वी हैड ओके स्टडी टिल द पॉइंट वैन जैन इज़ वेरी अपसेट एंड ही इज टोटली शैटर्ड डिप्रेस्ड very emotional at this moment sentimental when he lost and he thinks that he had lost everything right when we are in trouble when we are facing lot of difficulties in our life we think that we have lost everything but actually this is not the truth you have not lost everything if you look at into your surroundings you will come to know that many precious things still around you which you never bothered which you just think that these are uh you just take those things just for granted okay so if you will look seriously around you will come to know that many precious things are there so at this moment as he has not got that sort of maturity in him he is a little boy so that's why he cannot think in that way that is okay sure but when he will grow up or maybe the some other things happen in the life so that time uh we can realize that okay those things i was worried about those things do not matter much to me the things now i have okay my family my friends so these are the most precious things in our life so will jan realize this fact or not we are going to study this so let's focus on the last paragraph of uh, page number 51 so i walked around school like a zombie everything felt surreal and i wasn't sure what was going to happen all the security i had known from my old school my friends my house and my cat had all been ripped away so as you know uh he has no friends so it was a new school so that's why he was just roaming here and there like a zombie without any aim okay who are zombies you know very well you have seen many movies uh, about zombies so without any aim he was uh, roaming here and there and he was also thought uh, he was also thinking that he had lost many things in his life he has lost his old school and his old friends and the house also and this when ultimately he has lost the cat also so let's move let's move further to the page number 52 when i walked through what used to be my house after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever hadn't burned was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had used to put out the fire the only material things not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescued uh rescued yes uh personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescue okay but my cat was gone and my heart ached for her so this was the thing when he was uh returning back to house from school so in the way he saw his house and uh, by looking at the house he was so surprised that he could not see the state of the house the, the house was in a very very bad condition the every almost everything everything was burnt and uh, just those things were saved which was saved by uh, his mother right those documents and the pictures of the father so those were secured by the mother and other things were just totally damaged or maybe uh these were submerged into the water and the chemicals the fire fighter used to just uh, you can say extinguish the fire so the only material things not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescue and but my cat was gone and my heart ached but uh, the most you can say pinching thing for jan was that he had lost his cat and he was not in the state of forgetting this right because he loved his cat very much so if we are if you have some pet at your house so you will come to know the importance of that because pets are very lovable and they are very loyal to you faithful to you right 
and they do not eat food without you and they always uh, just roaming around you all the time so they are welcoming you when you coming back to the house coming back to house so these are the things the we all understand this so still his heart ached for his lovable cat okay so next paragraph there was no time to grieve my mother rushed me out of the house we would have to find a place to live and i would have to go buy some clothes for school so there was no time to grieve at that moment he cannot stand there and grieve at that moment that i have lost everything i have lost my home i have lost my cat i have lost my bag i have lost my uh, school i have lost my friends and everything so this was no time for the grievance so he is uh, just uh, wanted to go uh, okay for some uh, shopping also because he had to buy some clothes for the schools and all right and he also find some shelter to live in so this was the thing and then we had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank so everything had gone up in smoke so another problem problem was that because uh, at this moment they cannot buy anything because they had left no money money was there in the bank but they were not able to just withdraw that money the problem was that because they were not able to give any identification of them which they can put into the bank for withdrawing the money right all the identities uh, they have lost they have lost their credit cards right they have lost their <coughs> you can say other documents which can prove their identity so uh, this was the reason so that's why they just you can say borrowed some money from the grandparents so that they can buy uh, the necessary stuff then okay leave it so uh, other paragraphs we are going to study in the next video till then thank you very much